السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر کے ایس اکیڈمی آئی ایم انجینئر محمد طیب اعجاز ٹوڈے وی آر اسٹارٹنگ اے نیو کورس آن پرائمویرا پی سیکس سافٹ ویئر واٹ از پرائمویرا پرائمویرا از اے پاورفل پروجیکٹ مینجمنٹ سافٹ ویئر یوز بائی پروفیشنل ٹو پلین ایگزیکیوٹ اینڈ مینیج لارج اینڈ کمپلیکس پروجیکٹ ویئر وی یوز پرائمویرا Primavera is used in many industries like construction, engineering, IT and manufacturing. Also, it is used in oil and gas industry. So, what are, what are the key benefits of Primavera? Primavera helps in scheduling large projects with thousands of activities. Also, it manages your resources effectively, including your labor resources, equipments and materials it also allow multiple user to collaborate on the same project means that different user can uh, work on the same project uh, in primavera also you can track of performance ensuring you are on schedule and within budget you will study about these uh, topics later on in this course so our view of the primavera p6 user interface so let's open the software and see its user interface you can download it from internet and open it so this is primavera p6 user interface on the top we have menu bar and different tabs in menu bar file edit view enterprise below that we have different tools bar this called toolbar and we have different tools like uh, table view chart view chart view also we have bars columns run a schedule different uh, tools are available here below that uh, here we call this enterprise project structure on right side it is a uh, gain chart view below that uh, this is a detail window in which uh, general notebook budget log spending plan you can also modify these uh, customize these details by simply right clicking on it we will discuss later on what is enterprise project structure dps is like a project folder tree It's where you organize your different projects at various level within organization. For example, you can organize by region, department or specific project. In multinational corporations, they are working in different industries like construction, IT sector, uh, manufacturing sector, oil and gas. So they divide their projects in uh, different enterprises so they can manage it easily so let's discuss this in primavera p so let's discuss in primavera go to enterprise enterprise project structure here the enterprise is already listed but we can add uh, by ourselves just clicking add button here the new enterprise is added we call it uh, abc uh, company name Uh, let's suppose ABC company so we can add uh, different uh, sectors or different uh, departments below it by simply clicking add button and by clicking here this icon this is simply add below uh, this one we call it uh, design Uh, and we call it design section or design department also we can add one more we call it as uh, supervision and call it supervision department also we can add one more and we call it 
geotech and we call it geotech department so just uh, one corporation or one company we divide it in different departments so we can manage it easily so what is organizational breakdown structure the obs is a hierarchical structure that shows the organization of the project team it allows you to define the roles and responsibilities of project participant that what is the role of this person in this organization so we divide the roles and responsibilities uh, of the whole organization for example in a particular organization we have a ceo under ceo we have a planning engineer we have a design engineer we have a resident engineer so under planning engineer we have a junior planning engineer under design engineer we have a draftsman junior design engineer also under re we have a qc engineer material engineer site supervisors or uh, other engineers uh, technical staff so they uh, are basically responsible for their own roles and responsibilities what are the key benefits of this uh, assigning different teams or individual to specific project or task and organizing the project team for effective resource allocation so let's discuss in primavera go to enterprise uh, go to obs click on this and click on table view so this shows the uh, hierarchical organization breakdown of a any uh, breakdown of any organization you can simply add or delete it uh, by just clicking on add button uh, we call it uh, let's suppose ceo of abc company we move it down by simply clicking on this button just add one and we call it as uh, project manager also uh, we can add uh, under it as a uh, project engineer we can just simply uh, add below the project engineer by just clicking on this button and you can see that now the project engineer is under the project manager also we can add uh, resident engineer so uh, in this way you can add uh, different organizational members in hierarchical process